Hey, everybody. Hi. We switched it up. AJ's out. You know, she's out doing some shit. I, don't, I have no idea I don't what, know she's, what doing. she's doing. No, no clue. She's doing something. She out here. She got right. Brunch. She doing something. Exactly. She got plans. Booked and busy. I probably, that's mm-hmm. what we'll say. But yeah, hi. Welcome to another episode of Code Switching Naturally. I'm Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. Okay. Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. Miss. Vanjie. Miss Sandy. <laughs> My name is Channy. <laughs> <laughs> Just Channy. That's it. So, and and we got Makayla back yeah. for a second week. Yeah. I'm very excited. Very happy. Yeah. Especially because we decided that um, uh, today's subject was going to be about that gay shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, as, as three queerlings. Uh, we, I like that word, queerly. Queerly is <laughs> so like good. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we, we figured you know it'd be good to have her on. Um, but first, we're, of course, we're going to start with uh, our our new favorite segment of uh, uh, taking the L, taking the L of the week. Right. Um, so AJ suggested um, that we talk about Nicki Minaj. Yeah, she wants to give the L to Nicki Minaj. And deservedly so. For being a bully. For being a bully. Leave <laughs> a Lotto, year old bully. Leave Lotto the fuck alone. What did Lotto have to do with <sighs> anything? Literally nothing. Um, but that's all I'm going to say on it. Uh, Nicki, get better, do better. Fucking, like, you're way too goddamn old for that. Um, Candace Owens gets uh, another L. Uh, <laughs> And Kanye by proxy. By pro- because the, <laughs> why did they give you fa- like your your Twitter back and you immediately go oh. fuck juice like you just <laughs> oh. I, don't, I don't understand right what and did the j- Jewish people have to do with anything exactly and just so that everyone is clear so we don't get that clip because somebody's oh. gonna snippet that oh, okay yeah. that that is not the that stance is what Kanye that's what Kanye has that is said Kanye's belief that is not that's, that's not please. what we're saying. I want him to leave the Jewish people out of it. I want him to leave everybody <laughs> the leave fuck everybody alone. Everybody out. Listen, of you listen, Kanye, baby, go take a nap. You can have Get you juice, a snack. A, like juice and a and a fruit snack. I think that's what he's missing is a fruit snack. Maybe some animal crackers, like the frosted ones, because those need are the only to be good ones. Drink juice box and eat hot mm. chips. Oh my goodness! Yes, just go sit down somewhere for life. I, I know you're wealthy. You could afford to do so. You can afford to sit down somewhere for mm. a couple of years, actually. Mm. I feel like even look, even God rested. And since you seem so close to him, <laughs> maybe you should take that to heart. You know? Just saying. Um, so yeah, so there's that. Um, but my, my actual L is is more of a rant, really. Um I am tired of people with the audacity. Oh, yeah. Um for a number of reasons. This one in particular. Um, so for those of you that do not know, uh, my day job is uh, I work at a gas station. Um, and you find, you encounter a number of different characters at a gas station, <laughs> as it were. Gas yeah, station people are my favorite kind of people. Um, ooh, I really wish that I could, I could say the same for myself. <laughs> that is no longer the case. Um, there's one that I affectionately called snaggle puss um or snaggle tooth depending on how nice i'm feeling that day um so he is uh trespassed which means he's not supposed to be on the premises <laughs> great <laughs> right because he put hands on somebody that worked there oh right we said mm, no you may not um he would harass customers for them to buy him stuff because he wasn't allowed in the store True. um and then go to a different gas station. Thank you. I, think, I feel I feel like he is not allowed at any of no. them. Really, uh-huh, okay. He just doesn't care. But anyway, here's the thing. Um, I tried to give him a second chance because, like, I was like one of the only people mm-hmm. left of the old, you know, the the yeah. old crew. And then, do you know this bitch mm-hmm. walked in and tried to steal? <laughs> the you you're not even supposed to be you're here you're not even supposed, supposed to be here to be. so i had to be like hey put that back <laughs> he jumped looked back at me and just tried to like mumble something like he didn't do nothing boy i see you ain't even supposed to be in here get the fuck out of here even. now that was months ago 
and now he's back again, and he has uh, he decided he wanted to box another friend without <laughs> furnishings. Double down. He doubled, tripled down, <laughs> and then he kept coming back today looking for the same fight. And then when everybody was like, you're not supposed to be in here, he was like, okay, I'm going to cuss people out today. <laughs> yeah, okay, so here's the thing. Um, sir, you are... I'm sure well into your 60s. That does not mean that I will not stomp your ass. Man. I, Facts. I'm so tired. I'm fed up. I'm fed up. Because he'll like to, he'll like stroll by. If he sees me, he keeps walking. Mm. If he doesn't, he walks in. Like, no, don't, like, don't nobody else know. My sweet bitch. <laughs> I will end you. Anyway, oh I I have big feelings about it. I apologize. Anyway, so, because we like to formulate it as a question. Yeah. Um, That gay shit. <laughs> question mark? <laughs> <All right. laughs> question mark? No. Um, so, how, one, how do you identify? Um, how has that journey been for you? So, that's going to be... And interesting. Uh, so it's going to be difficult for me to answer that question. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. As, as far as my sexuality goes, I'm pansexual. Sure. Um, however, if you follow the bisexual manifesto of 1990, bisexual still kind of technically falls under that pansexual title. So I still abide by bisexual and pansexual as both. So I use I use both flags. Sure. When it comes to my gender. Yeah, because that is a part of it. My gender. I typically will just straight up tell people that my like my pronouns are she, they. What I identify as is a non-binary black woman. Because I ascribe to the idea of being a black woman, mm -hmm. but not just woman. Okay, okay. But it's, it's, it's different. It, it is very different. It's a different kind of idea. Because like my experiences as a black woman has defined... Who I am, yeah, but woman, not too much, <laughs> right? Because it's very, it's like they're very different things. Yeah. Also, we might lose the hat. I know the fit mm. is nice, it, but the hat—it's it not even hot. It just—it—it it don't, it's it don't quite fit. I got a big ass head, so it, it likes to listen. I know this about myself. Look, just there you go. It's gone. Right. It's gone. Lost it. Um. So yeah. So <laughs> black black woman, but. Non-binary. Non -bi Non-binary black woman, yes. N no bibbery, as they, as they say. No beanie. <laughs> no beanie. No beanie. No beanie. No beanie. Listen, the number of ways they say that word make me so happy. I love TikTok so much. I love TikTok. It's so good. Anyway, to continue. Uh, yeah, so that's my, my I'm non-binary non -binary black woman who is pansexual. Hell yeah. My cake face. Yes. Um... I am, I, I guess I identify she, they as well. Hell yeah. Yes. Um, I did have a conversation with some friends, but we'll get into that. Um, okay. So, yeah, I just say she, they. Um, I am in a relationship. Um, Hell yeah. But uh, I consider my ideas, I guess, like polyamorous. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, brother. In like Pow. an honest way. Mm hmm Honesty is important, as is communication. Are we all polyamorous? Wow. Oh. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this was perfect. <laughs> um, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, babes. Oh. Yeah, babes. <laughs> I was like, it's extremely gay out here. <laughs> yeah, we, absolutely. And, and while, yes, polyamorous relationships can be strictly heterosexual yeah one why uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it, uh yeah there was only one um <laughs> that's that's a, a, that it is a, a it is a departure from from the, what is from, considered norm right like, norm yeah. which thankfully um there's a lot of change going on yeah. so there's a lot of new normal happening the idea of normal is expanding um right and we're kind of doing away with the term norm, I think. Mm -hmm. Right, because it's very exclusionary yeah. and discriminatory in so many aspects. Yeah. Um, for me, myself, um, I do identify as homosexual because I am unfortunately attracted to men. Uh, 
I said what mm. I said. Mm, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, I believe currently um, I am sitting in the pan romantic mm-hmm. um, because I don't want to do physical things um, with a woman, but I could. I well, actually, technically, I am. I am dating a, a non non binary person, mm-hmm. uh, uh, femme presenting, okay. currently. So, and I and I love her, them dearly. So you know, there's that. Yeah, I suppose. But yeah, no, I'm just kind of, kind of going through that, kind of trying to figure that out still. And I think honestly, that's a really good. It's a good thing to witness that. It is always evolving, no matter where you are in your in your figuring out phase. Absolutely, you're because always you're always figuring it out. I didn't right. realize, like honestly, I didn't really like come out as like. I don't really think I really came out. I just told people I, my pronouns were she they. It wasn't like maybe like two years ago, and it took like a, like a while, like maybe six or seven years, of me trying to think like I don't really understand my own personal gender. Right. And then realizing it like years later with like like talking to people and the internet thanks yeah. <laughs> thanks TikTok for understanding that there is a there is a place for me in non-binary. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. Okay. Also, TikTok uh, keep making me question things uh, about myself, and I'm not the number of women on that goddamn app, like. From the the fams, like the fam fams, yeah. to the studs, yeah. have me feeling away, yeah. and I don't know what to do with that. There's this, there's this one, uh, like Desi woman, this, this like Indian woman. She does a number of videos where she just, I'm gonna find one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm gonna have to find you one because they're. Very good. Anyway, um, so yeah, so um, one spectrum, the, the the gays, we we have the rainbow for a reason. Yeah, uh, we're we're all over the place. Uh, also, uh, I don't personally identify, but you know, shout out to my ace fams, because you know, there's plenty of y'all out oh, there. Oh yeah, there's the ace. The um, there's a, a wide spectrum there's of ace. Ace and arrow. Yeah. Yeah. Which important. Uh, because sex and romance are very different. They're different. Yeah. That's why sexual hom- attraction and romantic attraction are right. different. Thus, homosexual, pan romantic, mm. for myself, yeah. for you, boy. Nice. Hmm. Right. Which is another reason why I personally believe that polyamory is a good thing because you can still have those close connections. You, you can still have those close connections. It allows you the, the space and opportunity to still explore outside mm-hmm. of what your particular relationship is or like you can figure things out for yourself right with like multiple experiences right because uh i i don't personally subscribe to the idea that there's one person for everybody that just seems like a lot <laughs> that seems like a lot there's, seems like, like, a lot of, there's like billions of people in the right, world that seems like a lot right there's a lot of effort and i'm real tired uh so <laughs> <laughs> if I'm supposed to go find my person, that's going to be really difficult. Right? It's like hey, top or bottom. I'm tired. <laughs> there we go. I got it the rest of the way. Oh my god. Uh, I know. It's I know. So extra. Yeah, Listen, yeah, the gay shit. Anyway, back to here. Coming out. How did you do it for the the sexuality? But Ooh. okay. So I came out. Um, Technically, like coming out is a process. Yes, and it's something that you don't do just one time. It's nope. something that you do multiple times, all the time for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life, you're gonna continually of, be yeah. coming out. Um, but yeah, so the first time, um, I will say it wasn't necessarily that I was in the closet per se. Mm-hmm. I just did not have enough sex, like self actualization, to understand that I was attracted to a woman. Mm. Like, my first, like, attraction to a woman happened, like, elementary school. I just ignored it. I was just like, mm, whatever. (laughs) (laughs) I don't have time for that. (laughs) Right. So, like, when I became, when I turned, like, 16, I was in high school, and Mm. I came out to my friends. I was like, yeah, so I think I am attracted to women, and I am bisexual. And my friends were already pretty, it was a pretty gay crowd. (laughs) So they were like, okay. Cool. (laughs) 
and I kept it from my family. (laughs) Came out to my friends instead. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. Yeah. And then the second time I came out, I came out to my sister and I was like, hey, just want to let you know, I am in a relationship with a woman. And she was like, okay. And I'm like, I'm bisexual. She's like, "Mm, I don't think so. (laughs) Waited a couple of years. And I was like, I'm pansexual. And she's like, that sounds about right. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Like, that's even better than I was thinking. It was like she was like, mm, well, maybe not, and then she was like, I know you find the right word. Got that's it. The right word. <laughs> <laughs> and then I came out to my mom like right before she passed by accident in the middle of a Target, mind you. We were having a conversation mm-hmm. about how uh, the body of Christ <laughs> oh, in the middle of a Target. We were please, talking about the body of Christ and its continue. people. Yep. Like mm-hmm. the discrimination that like the, the people face in the church is not representative of the faith that they 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 portray or mm-hmm. they they claim to. Yeah. And I somehow accidentally slipped out the yeah, I saw like me and being queer and she's like, What? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Oh Yeah. Right, in the middle of Target. Mm, <laughs> good time. So we're doing this now. Okay, yeah. cool, 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 so cool. I was like, by the way, mm, thank you I so am much. Pan. <laughs> But thankfully, my mom took it well. She was like, you know, um, her first question was had nothing to do with my sexuality. Which is mm-hmm. like, who hurt you? She her question was like, who decided to make fun of you or like make, make discriminate against you because of your sexuality? I was like, go mom. Yeah. <laughs> it came out better than I thought it was going right, to be. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, ever since then, I've just been like, I've just been pretty out with it. So like, I don't really, I don't really, I'm not too afraid to tell people. Right. My sexuality. It's not like something like, hey, by the way, hello, my name is Chanel and I'm gay. Like, right. But it is, it is what it is kind of thing. That's, that is fair. How about you? Because I don't, I don't ever know this. I don't think I know this story. I, I think at some point it just kind of knew you were. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 just some point you was like, you just were. So we never and really, you never actually told us like, wh- like, yeah, I, don't, I guess you just never actually like come out to people that you've known for a while. Yeah. At least more of just like you've been here. Yeah. Right. Like you know what's going on. Yeah. You've been hearing stuff. You'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, no. Yeah, that tracks. For me, it was it was seeing you. I remember I think maybe my mom probably got an idea because I asked her one day. Mm-hmm. Coming home. I don't know where we were coming from. We were coming down the road. And I was like, Mom. <clears throat> I don't know. I did, that's you know my young mind. I don't know. I was like, is Quinn? <laughs> and it was it was this scary thought to me. I was like, is Quinn gonna go to? Is Quinn gonna go to hell? Is what I thought. Mm, yeah. She said, she said, what? No. <laughs> she said, no. I don't. I I don't think so. I don't think so. And I honestly just just that statement was probably her kind of flash and, mm-hmm. you know obviously there was some kind of fear some kind of worry in my mind about it so yeah i didn't really want to come out if i did you know i still kind of i don't push it you know i don't really there's no fear behind it but mm-hmm. there is this um like what's going on i don't know mm-hmm. um but i i don't know i i kind of knew probably in middle school as well um Elementary school, middle school. Mm-hmm. There was this. Um, I guess it's just my best friend. You just say, you know, my best friend, someone I get along with. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I definitely love you. So. Mm-hmm. One step from there, honestly. Hell yeah. 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 I'm a bit. I'm a bit shy. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I uh, didn't know what gay was. Uh, for a while, and then I got called it. Uh, <laughs> Someone just in in it out there elementary uh, middle school age. Oh, because they were trying to be. And rude. I got and I got called it, and then uh, this was you know when the internet was still new, uh, <laughs> so I looked it up and I went, huh? Probably. It might have a point. <laughs> Uh, right. but, uh, <laughs> and it, and it wasn't like, uh, our church up in Cleveland was like real hellfire and brimstone about gay. Mm. It just wasn't brought up. Yeah. But I think the fact that it was never brought up and it was not anything that I was 
familiar with, there was that immediate like knowledge, at least in at that time, that it was wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, I got caught looking at certain. Um, that is it. Such such a story. <laughs> yeah, I got <laughs> caught looking at certain uh-huh. things. Um, and uh, as, as as teens do, you know? right? And my parents were like, "Hey, bud, what the what's this?" Uh, and I was like, I don't know. I, was, I <laughs> found it by I found it by accident. <laughs> Research, um, which which definitely was like, okay, we're not gonna do that. And so then uh, we got down here to Florida, and I was like in high school, and you know, teenager, yeah, like full like full steam ahead. Yeah. Uh, and I was realizing that I was absolutely. <laughs> Um, definitely not straight, but, uh, I did, I did the, uh, the old cliche of the, uh, buy the gay pipeline. Uh, uh. <laughs> so, because at least in my mind, if I was bisexual, then it was still okay. Cause I could still fall in love with a woman. Um, and I think that's a, that's an idea that a lot of people have when they're going through that buy, buy to gay pipeline. Mm-hmm. It's just, well, I mean, I, I, it, it's not all the way. It's not all bad. It's not that bad. It's fine. I, I'm only half going to hell. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, then I got, I got caught again uh, and had a conversation. This was like right before I was going to uh, the art school. <laughs> Right. Uh, <laughs> right before uh, art school, I, I was I was told that uh, hey, you know, going to this you know art school, and there are going to be some perhaps dangerous influences. Gay, so gay. you need to know is gay a dangerous <laughs> influence? <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I, in retrospect, and after having the conversation, um, I realize that uh, it was an attempt to help me figure it out uh, but it did not appear as it such didn't come across, yeah. right um i got uh, i had to go to have some therapy sessions mm-hmm. with a man uh that reminded me very much of mr rogers he was a very sweet man oh. um a very handsome man which was not actually helpful <laughs> um or actually perhaps it was anyway um so yeah but i didn't actually like come out come out until college like mm, yeah. I came out to you know came out as bi to my friends yeah. and all that. Mm-hmm. I didn't come out as gay until like yeah, the end of my freshman year in high mm-hmm. school. Then in high school's college, Jesus just said that. So yeah. Crazy, yeah. Yeah, but you know, ever since then it's just been like, no, I do have a tell these days. Um I'm not really good at hiding my thirst. Uh, and again i am unfortunately attracted to men and i live in florida where it's sunny most of the goddamn time so sun's out guns out and we a lot of shirtless people yes and it's it's nice if i don't think about it too far past beyond the, the looks of it you know if i don't think past the aesthetics i can have a good time it was a very hot guy that had a had a uh, Trump DeSantis shirt mm. and it hurt my feelings. Oh, it yeah. hurt my feelings. <laughs> um, Attractive people ruin it when they express their opinion. Oh, <laughs> so often, so, actually. So is, often. So often is the thing and I'm just like, I'm mad about it. Why do you have to do that? You don't that? have to have opinions. Why do you have to ruin a good Shut thing? <laughs> um, so, important question. How do you navigate the intersectionality of being black and queer? Mm. Because (laughs) uh, both marginalized groups and then, of course, for the two of you, um, you have black queer woman. (laughs) Black queer. It's very difficult to be black, queer, non-binary and still identify woman. Like, it's very weird. Mm hmm. Because there's a, still a lot of racism in the queer community. Yes. Shit. Like, <laughs> let's let's and, go. <laughs> and a lot of queer people will act like that's not happening. That's wild. And so, like, when it when it, I get face to face with that, I just like I just I I will be honest. I, when I'm looking for like queer spaces 
or queer like hmm. friendships, I'm I'm I will judge it by how many black people are there. Yeah. I will. I I'm, I'm looking for queer spaces that are inclusive to race as well because when it becomes when it starts to look like a Kanye concert, mm. um, on either okay, and actually, there's a spectrum on that as well. Um, can't have too many niggas either because then it gets way too gender binary. Yeah, and that's also <laughs> the weird thing. Is like, so it's it's weird because I feel like I have to like explain myself in my own communities all yeah. the time. Like I have to if I'm in a queer space that is like overly black, then it comes to where I have to like explain my gender. And then like if I'm in queer spaces that are overly white, I have to explain my race. Like I have yeah. to like defend and I wanna have to do that if I'm trying to like have a good time in a queer space. I wanna be able to enjoy it. Right. And as as a nerd uh, there's d- levels on top of levels because I am in predominantly white spaces. So, yeah. So a lot of the, the, the queer friends that I make are, uh, for the most part, white. And You spend you spend a lot of time educate trying to educate friends, mm-hmm. and you don't want to do that all the time. It's very tiring it to do. It is exhausting. And, like... I have been very blessed to have a lot of the close people to me yeah. um, get it. They understand the assignment. Uh, I don't have to worry about too many of them. Um, but, of course, you know, you have people on me on the outskirts of that that are close-ish mm-hmm. that I'm like, you're one side eye away from getting fucking you punted. I, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. It's like, I don't, I really shouldn't have to tell you why this is the case. There was uh, a gentleman, I will not say his name, um, but um, he was part of the parlor LARP uh, mm. that I was a part of here in the city, uh, and we were at a friend's party, and he said to me that he was attracted to me, but he grew up thinking that black people were dirty. Said that Why? to my That's face. Funny. Why? <laughs> Said it to my face. Why was the comment necessary? It wasn't. <laughs> it was not. Um, now he's one of he was one of those um, where he's a, he's okay. Probably a little touch of the tism, for being honest, right. which I get. Yeah. Um, but also, I don't I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need that. Um, <laughs> Ment- your mental illnesses do not give you an excuse Mm-mm. to be racist. <laughs> mm-hmm. Truly, truly does not. And like, like, why would you say? <laughs> why, why would you? Why say would that? you say that? Like, it just like it. It still baffles me. I'm I don't like, understand. It's like, I'm sorry. Am I giving off a stench right now? <laughs> yeah, like, like, I don't it, understand how the two like statements conjoin. Mm-hmm. Like, I think you're attractive, but right. But hey, I did I, grow up thinking. I think, I think maybe he wanted me to see that he'd progressed, and he no longer thought that. Maybe, but that's not the way to do that. You Never at all. You could have just not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Especially because we had no relationship beyond, you know, f- friends. Child. We're gonna say we're gonna say friends. Oh. Um, Associates in the friends community. in quotations. Yeah, acquaintances mm. at best. Um, also, these he had some internalized homophobia. We're not gonna. Oh. Yeah, he went off about somebody wearing some really nice, like fuzzy pink slippers. They look comfy as hell. Mm. And he went off like some internalized homophobia on that shit. And I was like, my guy, what are you doing? I was a- I was mean to him, though. I do, I do feel bad. Well, that's also a thing in like the gay community is some people in the queer community have some internalized homophobia that mm-hmm. they need to address. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's really weird. Yeah. It's a real weird vibe. Mm-hmm. Also, the... Uh, the <sighs> this is... Uh, Let's see. We'll say a character flaw of mine, and I recognize this. I regularly find myself more attracted to those on the lighter side, you know, of the grayscale. Um, <laughs> I get it. It's not my best work. 
<laughs> it's, this it's is not the best piece. Right. <laughs> so it's really Honestly. difficult a lot of times yeah. Yeah. because yeah. art. Uh, right. Because I find either um, that they are absolutely not attracted to black men. Um, no, no fats, no blacks, no femmes, no Asians, all that fun stuff. Uh, white and Latino to the front. <laughs> These are all things that people put in their profiles um, regularly. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, we're not even going to get to the height weight appropriate any oh. height weight proportionate. Uh, just, we're not. Oh. Don't. No. We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. I would like to say uh-huh. one thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. The amount of queer people who would like to design their own partner, like honey. Mm. Uh, <laughs> You you have so many restrictions. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Also, this isn't build a that bitch. That are discriminatory. This is no. this is right. This isn't build a bitch workshop either. Fucking take it or don't. Um, also, uh, uh, the other side of that is uh, fetishized. Fetishized. Yes. Fetishized. There yeah. you go. Took me a second. Um, where they want this black dick. <laughs> <clears throat> there was a there was a gentleman that was talking to me on tinder we had all of four messages between us four true before he was like come on bring over that black dick oh. and i was like sir we barely said hello like i don't even know anything about you Dang. which was unfortunate he was nice and bearded and lip nope mm. <laughs> block done yeah i have Unfortunately, met met a lot of people both on uh, on all genders mm-hmm. who um are f- that fetishize flat like fat women, mm-hmm. and that's just really weird. Like it's really weird to come in contact. Like I thought we were going to be like mm-hmm. friends. Yeah. And you talk about I want to fuck a fat bitch. <laughs> you keep that over there. <laughs> you keep that shit to yourself. So I'm not going to tell this one on the pod. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I have I have a thing for you later. Mm. <laughs> a thing for you later. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah. So it's been it's been wild out here. I, I I'm a very simple a simple gal, if you will. I'm mm-hmm. a, you know, I I got on Tinder like twice. Um, mm-hmm. Once I was like, man. Second time I did it, I'm like in in it to win it. Honestly, is that how you met? Is, yeah, Tinder. You Word? actually had a success. You had story? a tender success. My oh, God! Claps to you because I, you that never fucking oh, happened. Sir, hold on. Let me see if I can get it right there for the. Ah! Indeed, <laughs> this I is mean... the best purchase I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> best purchase, <laughs> absolutely. Sorry, it's been um, like four, four and a half years. Oh my yeah. God! A tender success, <laughs> like straight up. Yeah. Also, we like her. We do. We do. We like her. She can just, stay. I, you know, I don't. That's why it's like I don't know if I ever came out because I just kind of am. I'm just out here. And yeah. All my friends, I was blessed. You know, like you said, just to be around people that are with it. Mm-hmm. Um, I was in band, marching band, so most of the kids there were white, kind of nerdy, mm-hmm. maybe on the spectrum. Um, definitely on the spectrum. Mm-hmm. Definitely um, on the spectrum. There's a lot of that. Yeah. These days, and I th- or I think a lot of it more specifically, like recognized yeah. <laughs> these right. days like we see the signs a lot we can... of people are undiagnosed and they, and, <laughs> and they know yeah <laughs> oh, there's a lot of <laughs> i feel like there's a lot more neurodivergent than there is neurotypical these days yeah, that's what and it's like, okay. i'm the, listen the next generation is just gonna have superpowers and i that's i'm, I'm so excited i'm so excited <laughs> for them love that for you <laughs> okay. i am jealous Burn it down. that's <laughs> fine um so yeah Keep i think yeah, it was good. Yeah. Do you have do you have any questions? Anything you'd like to know? Um, man, mm-hmm. who's your favorite queer icon? Oh God, oh God, oh why did you have to do that to me? Because I knew uh, it was going to be so fun to uh, ask you God, that question. Was pan- I'm panicking. <laughs> All right, uh, I have so many. Um, so many drag queens like literally so many of them um i think currently evie oddly is one of my favorites she's the fucking weirdo and i love her uh shay coulee uh kid fury and crystal from the read (laughs) yes yeah (laughs) yeah they are so good so funny um, but also talk about real shit, yeah. like for themselves. 
Yeah. Like, they came back. Uh, they, they were on a little hiatus, which, look, yeah. self-care. It's why I like that we have, like, breaks. Yeah. So are already ingrained. They're already, then, <laughs> there are people who have been here for a while understand already that we're going we're gonna to take a break. Yeah, we're going to, right, we're going to take a little siesta and we'll be back. I'm, tr- I'm going to feel so bad if I don't do these right. Okay, queer icons. Uh, okay, like, okay, now specifically, do they have to be? queer themselves I don't think they I mean I don't think queer icons necessarily have to be queer I mean we okay. let I, allies come into the parades That's cool <laughs> pink and Beyonce oh. pink and Beyonce yeah. absolutely fucking lootly bud the, like mm, I love I love them both so much like renaissance Beyonce was, <laughs> Renaissance was for the gays. It was for the gays <laughs> it was for the girls the gays and the days. it was you, you're welcome thank you so much Beyonce <laughs> Um, there are so many. I don't have, I don't I'm having trouble. I'm like I could just name them all, but I don't need any. Did you have? Did you have? I have. Um, I'll go with um, Burton Ernie. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Street. I yeah. I just, I'm a simple gal. <laughs> <laughs> together dead. counting I'm dead. singing deceased <laughs> deceased the, dream, the American dream if you will uh, <laughs> queer icons with the American dream you're right that's what they are oh god. fantastic oh god in a time you know in a yeah time absolutely before. yeah absolutely they were just you know just life living. partners just absolutely living. just mm-hmm. they do remind me of like the 90s like gay couple that they don't call each other like boyfriend boyfriend or like husband <laughs> husband it's this is my life partner yeah. right absolutely this is my yes my and, they and they were roommates and they were they were moved they were roommates uh oh my god i just remembered one i'm so sorry queen latifah oh, oh my god yes, yes. bitch okay there we go oh my god you just stole my one because oh latifah, i'm so sorry queen latifah was it's so important Presenting <laughs> and giving yes I um one of the songs I I perform a lot actually is well, the song that she did in Chicago. Chicago yeah, when you're I, good to mama. Yes, oh. I perform that song a lot, and it's because I love her. I love her so much. Yeah, she's she's great. She's fantastic. Okay, I I feel like there should be more. Oh, new one. And I'm gonna give him all his flowers because he deserves Lil Nas X. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lil Nas X is he, so he's good. so fun. Mm, he yeah. has such a. I want to be friends with him so mm-hmm. bad. Yeah, he seems like he'd be he'd be really fun at yeah, a party. I love that he is such a fucking internet troll. It was all that training as a barb. Oh, it was all the training as a barb yeah. for sure. I, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, I'm gonna pull up my phone because I need to look it up. Mm. Uh, the uh, actor that they just got for Desire. Money, money. Rude. <laughs> Rude. How dare you? Mm-mm-mm. That I was that was Beyonce. I can't think of any tell. other like you know. There was a long time where like the queer community latched on to Lady Gaga, and like just just held her yes. in her grasp. Yes, yes, yes. There was a there was an obsession with Lady Gaga. Gaga's still there. there I think there's still technically a really oh you know oh, for sure yeah. and like don't get me wrong she's just, um, she's definitely the she's up things. there you know in the pantheon yeah <gasps> Dolly Parton Dolly Parton the, queer icon absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> we love her we we, we, we love Dolly Parton we love Bernadette Peters Bernadette Peters yes <laughs> Barbara Streisand <laughs> um, uh, oh, shout out to all our angels uh, aka all of Golden Girls Queer icons, all of them. Absolutely, <laughs> even you know that down to the last, mm. the last man standing, Betty White. Loved her. The Queen. Uh, there's just been uh, Stephen Sondheim. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because the, the music. Yeah. The, the music. The music also like for very, sure. Very queer. <laughs> okay, well I guess I guess I'm not looking up anything. There's no signal here. So I just, I just had that outburst for no reason. That's Rude. That's okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's a, I mean, did you think that you like you feel like you had like a queer mentor like to look up to? No, I didn't think either. Mm-mm. I feel like there was like for for a community that like 
puts guidance at a, at a very high posterity. Mm-hmm. I did not have any. No. <laughs> did not have, I, I figured this mm-hmm. shit out on my own. Yeah. 1000%. Again, I had to Google what gay was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I really didn't know. Like, th- there, there was the, none of it. There part was... of the problem with like figuring out sexuality is that like, you have to do so much of like the figuring out on your own. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of it is done in secret because mm-hmm. it, right. it feels like you have to. It feels like you have to, and I, I it, it comes. You come up with a lot of misinformation about a lot of things. Like, there's yeah. just a lot of things that people don't understand. Like the bisexual manifesto thing that I, I mentioned about earlier. Mm-hmm. Not too many people actually even know about that. Mm-hmm. They don't understand that like the bisexual like and like pansexual are kind of like cousins. Mm-hmm. And I have to explain that all the time. Which is weird. <laughs> <laughs> weird. <laughs> it, it's. <laughs> Yeah. My my friend, um, one of my friends likes to say that um, I, <laughs> pansexual and bisexual are like the the cousins that like don't speak to each other at the, the family reunion, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and that's accurate. <laughs> yeah, God bless it. Mm. Just a note. Love a bisexual man. Yes, they're real I was good. About to say, I you know even I. I would say, you know, mostly I'm attracted to women, but I love a dark-skinned man with, like, gold. Oh, my God. Moving after my own heart. Us oh, being oh, in God. Florida. Oh. I'd be, like, looking out the window. Mm-hmm. I'd be, like, a dark-skinned man wearing Just gold in the sunlight. Man. In the yeah. sun. Mm. There's something about it. And when they smile, mm-hmm. something about it. It's real nice. The episode is not about yellow. this. You know, I, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's always Falling about it. It's always about that. At least for me, but again, I cannot, I cannot hide that thirst. I know this about myself. I recognize it. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I'm trying to think of more because I'm like, I don't want to get any wrong. Uh, we don't want to leave out all the queers, uh, all the gays, right? Alex Newell. Um, yeah, like uh, they're. How did I forget? They're. Uh, Rendition of uh, Osaka mm. from uh, Once on This Island. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so oh, good. Oh, yeah, and Glee. Oh. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> queer icon Amber Riley. Oh, okay. <gasps> Terrell. Okay. And Terrell like, Grice. Well, there we go. There, and then we go here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Too. Bouncing. Too. This, <laughs> this is this is just the Web. the Broadway music man all over again, <laughs> just <laughs> bouncing back and forth, just all of them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, queer, that's because queer media is very important to the to to queer queer community. Yeah, it's a uh, we don't have a lot of it. It's true. Uh, we're, we're getting a lot more of it. We're having we have so much more now. Yeah, like which is really great. Which is a lot easier for you know some people uh, these days to come out, and I love that mm-hmm. truly. Mm-hmm. Like it's a very different environment than I'm what I had. Seeing a lot more people having coming out parties, and mm-hmm. that is. So, so much better than the coming out stories I used to hear when I was a kid. Yeah. It is so much better to see kids like having parties for their coming out to their families. They're like nice. making cakes. Because when the past, <clears throat> when I was hearing about people coming out to their parents when I was a kid, mm-hmm. was awful. Yeah. <laughs> sleep on your couch, please. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In addition to it was, that. it was not good. So yes, yeah, celebrate coming out if you want to. Right. <laughs> One thousand percent. I do have a praise report, even on that. Um, I'm listening. <laughs> praise Savannah. report. I haven't heard that in a minute. I know, right? Give it to me. What's, what is it? There is this uh, this couple. They're raising. Um, I guess it's kind of a, a split household. So the child spends time with the father and the stepmother, and then the mother. Mm-hmm. Um, the child came out. It, you know, they just kind of came out and said, "I would prefer to go by they them." Mm-hmm. I think they were at a, a pride parade. And something there's got canceled, so they ended up just going to the Pride Parade. Mm-hmm. Um, and they went up to the booth, and they were like, what kind of pen do you want? And so she selected they, them. And the parents, they were like, what, what, what? And, like, they started to do the research, things like that. And mm-hmm. then we had, a, like, a little cookout a couple of days later, and they sat us down. They were like, so we want your opinion. We want your insight on how to raise, you know, a queer child. Like, what does it, yes. what does it mean, you know? That's, that's great. And yes. we were like, honestly, that. you must be doing something. If your child, maybe just these kids, I don't know, mm-hmm. if they feel okay enough just to say that, just to do yeah. that, be around you and just yeah. say that, you're doing something right. So that that's really yeah. good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
last thing and then we'll get to the to the final segment um favorite or do you have a favorite piece of queer media <clears throat> like movie tv i'm gonna give a top three if you'd like i will uh yes uh actually i might do top five <laughs> top five I, I i have a lot i have a lot on my mind my favorite queer <laughs> Mm-hmm. Movies, TVs, got, got. plays. Um, so, number one, Steven Universe. Oh. Damn it. Damn. <laughs> gay Space Rocks, baby. Oh, my God. I love Let's, Gay Space Rocks. Gay Space Rocks. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Rebecca Sugar, queer icon. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You look less inside. Are you, are you incorrect? Are you wrong about it? Because I feel like you're wrong about it. Let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. What's up? What you talking about? What's wrong with Steven? Universe? What? No, no. I'm with what? What? You keep shaking your head. Are you disagree? I am beyond words. Ah, uh, okay. Word. Got it. It was. A, I thought mm, you were wrong. wrong. I thought you right. I thought you were incorrect in the moment. You were not. Okay, we're okay. I'm sorry. It's, it's, I was like, what are they talking about? Something's going down. Um, so, uh, Steven Universe, uh, Will and Grace. Oh my oh, God! Will, Will and Grace, Grace was box so set. good. And I borrowed the box. Set yeah. No, you sure I didn't. Gave you probably about two boxes. Back. Yeah, which is fine. You know what? I'll give those to you. One Thank day. you so stolen. much. Yeah, yeah stolen. <laughs> yeah. Um, Queer as folk was formative. <laughs> for, you know, I really tried to get me. into. You don't need to. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need to. Um, I'm gonna give uh, number three number. What? Four. Oh, we Paris is burning. Oh, Paris is burning. Was, yeah. Man, that was good. Uh huh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, tied for Paris is burning because it's it's pretty much the same pose. God damn mm. it! You stole my. <laughs> so you can just have it as well. Bye. It's okay. We're not doing anything. Okay. Um. And then another one from my like younger days when I was still trying to figure shit the fuck out. Um. There was a movie called uh, Broken Hearts Club. I remember Broken Hearts mm, Club. It was very yeah. good. Uh, it was one of those, okay, queer movies regularly um, have the uh, they have the pitfall of being either very sad or ending with, what? Mm. Yeah, queer movies <laughs> always do this. <that. laughs> like, it is either, I'm tired. Oh, <laughs> uh, or, Huh? Uh, I'm, I'm tired of queer me- media ending off on I'm sad or <laughs> I'm a, I'm uncomfortable with that. Yeah, well, yeah, like just if you leave bewildered, um, a lot of gay movies think that they were successful. And while many of them g- may be enjoyable, I'm so sick of that. You can have a happy ending you and truly, make a good movie. You truly can. <laughs> Um, and one that's not just sex, not another gay movie. Uh, whatever, I love them. Those movies are dumb, but they're enjoyable. But that's also because I'm a hoe. Anyway, <laughs> top five. Pose, you already took Yeah, it. you're Pose welcome. Pose fantastic. Yes. Um, <laughs> I wept like a bitch. I was so <laughs> mad that it ended, <laughs> but it ended so, so It was beautiful. Spectacular. beautiful last episode. Mm. Um, <gasps> Billy Porter. Gay icon, oh, yes. yes, absolutely, one hundred percent. So sorry, that whole cast. Let's just not oh, even, God. not even fuck around. The oh, whole yes, cast, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, carry on. I don't care how um, stereotypical this is. Rent, uh, no, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> rent, rent was very important. Give it its due. Mm-hmm. Yes, thank you so much. Um, specifically, the song between uh, the two lesbians. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you were gonna do Collins and Angel. Which is the better one? Mm-hmm. Yes, you're welcome. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, a thousand sweet kisses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Especially, okay. especially because there are two versions of it. One of them's fantastic. The other one fucking rips your heart out <laughs> and sings to it. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't. I could not live. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah, that definitely. Um, queer. queer Queer media. Um, there's mm-hmm. a one show that I'm like super obsessed with that like no one watches, or I'm pretty sure they don't. It's called The Owl House on Disney Plus. Oh yeah, I've heard about it. It's great. I haven't started. To, I have so many other things that I have to watch. I so many other things. Same. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, definitely that one. I I'm, I mean I'm into it. Um, okay, that was, that was Pose, like, Rent, Owl yeah. House. This three. Um, I don't know. This is gonna make this is gonna make sense in a second. Okay, okay. okay. I'm Around high school. Okay. Is is very important to me, and it is very queer. Okay, it is yeah, very queer. Absolutely. Um, many animes are. Looking at you, uh, Sailor Moon. It's very <laughs> Just yes, saying. Uh, uh, that was very important to me. Um, let's see. What other... Uh... Hey, oh, have you watched Skate the Infinity? No. Gayest shit. Do a ramen bowl about it. Do it. They're already coming out with season two. Watch it. Anyway. I'm into it. Coming up. <laughs> <laughs> ramen bowl coming soon. <laughs> I can't think of a fifth one. Me. Sure, sure, absolutely. I am my own gay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was gay media, which is just technically also media. So I'm on YouTube. There you go. I'm media. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, I just keep thinking of more and more. Eugene Lee Yang from the the Try Guys. Oh it, he see? he is. Have you seen that last video? Where yes, he- where he was mean <laughs> mugging the camera. Yes, he was ready to stomp oh, a bitch out. It was out. so good. <laughs> I've never seen him more furious. <laughs> the rage. The videos about that get me every time. Anyway, how about you? You got um, anything? Yes, I'd say definitely number one classic is the L word. Okay, yeah. yeah. L word, oh my god! I used to, I used to watch that with my with my lesbian That's roommate. Zeki, come on. Yeah. Yep. Um, my bestie, um, when I was in high school, they were lesbian, and we we watched that. Yeah, mm-hmm. a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I ran through it; just had to get man. Through it. And then black sales. It's yes, um, <gasps> I am mortified. I have just thought of two back to back. Carry on. I'm so sorry. Indeed. Uh, gay pirates, good stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, In general, gay pirates are fantastic. Indeed. indeed. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to spoil it. Anyways. Um, and The Read. The Read. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, we already said that, but that's coming back around. Yeah. In category. I think that's pretty. Okay, cool. I'm going to steal one of yours. Okay. okay. You, you reminded me because of black sales. Our flag means death. Oh man, that show! I don't know. Take away, what? Yeah, I need to finish that. Show. You do. Yeah, I need to finish. You, you yes, you do. Yeah. Take away, DT. Yes, he makes everything gay, and I love him for it. Truly, <laughs> truly, like he took over Thor and was just like, make it gay, <laughs> make it gay, make it gay, <laughs> and I have immediately forgotten what the other one is. Damn. Um. <laughs> hmm. It was something. It's fucking gone. It was some, yep, it's gone. It's fully gone. Um, yeah, I don't know what it was. It's fucking gone, bro. Um, I'm going to. Just, oh, I remember. Oh, what is it? Tu Wong Fu. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I gotta write this shit down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's so. It's Tu Wong Fu. Thank you for everything, Julie Newmar and Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Which is the Australian version. Like the the Okay, don't get me wrong. Tu Wong Fu, very good. Priscilla, better. Hmm. <laughs> Just need, better. I need um, to dive into that one. Yes. Um so yeah. I believe it's time. Oh, it's time. It is. Because we've talked about this. Time for music of the week. Oh, sweet. Music of because we've talked about this. Time for music of the week. Oh, sweet. Music of the week. Hey, hey, hey. Music of the week. week. Nice. Music of the week. Hey, hey, hey. You did that fast as shit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You did that fast as shit. I was like, okay. That's fine. No, it worked out. It's okay. I I realize that if I think about it, you just yeah. I can't. Yeah. The, the movements yeah. don't go together. Yeah. I have to just go into it you know and that's fair you know we gonna get in where we fit in you know what i'm saying that's that's always it's gonna be off rhythm every time oh. yeah, that's fair did you want oh sure yeah um i don't know how to make the i can't do no it. okay let me see you want you want to see it? i would like to be able to be that gay yes. okay there we go here we go i ruined it all right so you, no absolutely not oh, it's okay so 
Uh, my song of the week. What was it? Oh, right. There's Special Affair by the internet. Yes. It's, um, first of all, Sid, I, my attraction to Sid, ridiculous. Mm. And that song is so fucking, it's, it's sexy. That's it. <laughs> we do love a sexy song. It is a very sexy song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's my song of the week. All right. Mine is, um, Oopsie by Lavish. Uh, it's a good one to bump. Uh, Riding down the street, just listen to it. Nice. Yeah, cool. and you you do seem like the cruising type. Just be cruising, you chilling back. Your yeah, your car seems like a very street. cruising car. <laughs> it's a very <laughs> cruising <laughs> car. Um, my uh, song of the week is the Renaissance album. <laughs> okay, listen. Because it belongs to the gays. <laughs> yes, it belongs to the gays. Also, I have loved everything that people have done with it. The yeah, amount yeah, of right, dancers right. that have just slayed, yes. like there, uh, there's someone uh, a Hollywood uh, mm-hmm. on TikTok who does a lot of like very one focused frame. screen one frame dances. He just did it with a bunch of houses, and they just oh, that's so good. It looks so great. That's amazing. Um, like pure honey, mm-hmm. one of my favorite songs now. Just because of how people much have people taken have, those songs and created beautiful art, mm-hmm. beautiful art with it, mm-hmm. and it's been a perfect background for it. Anyway, mm-hmm. this has been an absolute blast. It's been great. It's been fun. <laughs> Thank you for so coming glad back. You came back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ariel will, will never let us do this again. No. And, I, <laughs> and I am looking forward to it. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know all the YouTube stuff. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mama now. Uh, yeah. Make sure you press the, the bell so that you know when we post. Uh, check out our <laughs> socials. That's at Code Switching Pod. Uh, and until next time, stay black, stay beautiful, stay humble. Stay hydrated. Yeah. Hydrate so you don't dehydrate. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>